Hi guys, Matt here from Mount Design, and in this little video, I'm going to show you how to set up uh, pop ups for your WordPress website. So, here's an example of one that I've created. So, this is a kind of a landing page, click and it'll pop up, and then they can kind of sign up for um, <clears throat> a video series. So, I'll show you how to set them up and then add them into your site. So, it's pretty simple to do once it's all set up so inside of your dashboard of WordPress what you want to look for is this thing on the side called pop-up maker click on pop-ups and then you'll see your current pop-ups then what you want to do is say add new and then we'll say this is Matt's pop-up okay <coughs> pop up title you can add that there if you want um, and then in here we want to add our, title, our content so this is pop up header and then this is sign up text um, so you can kind of do all the things you want to do so if you've got uh, click it to visual you can set it to H3, don't set it to H1, it's obviously a bad idea. So let's set that back to paragraph, close. Lovely WordPress, okay, so I'm just going to put the code in for these, um, just so they're a bit different, okay. And then here, <coughs> we're going to click on add form, so I've set up gravity forms inside the website so I'm going to say uh, disable form title and disable form description because we're putting our own in and here we select the form we want to pull in so for example here I'm going to put in cheat sheet and then insert the form that will add a gravity form stuff here if you want to put anything underneath so underneath the form so you could put um, could put an image at the top, you know, you see them kind of 50% bars and stuff. So you could add media. Um, I'll just pop an image in just to show you just that you can, so that I can go there. Um, so once we've set up all our content, that's the pop-up. Next thing we want to do is make sure it's it's available for the website. So if you click on this, on, on the entire site, that just saves you any bother. That's going to mean that you can add it wherever you want to add it on the website. Um, <clears throat> that was one of the things I got stuck on setting it up. I just didn't have that ticked and the pop-up wasn't working. And it's driving me mental. Um, default theme, I set that to main pop-up theme. Because that's the one I've set up for this. So if we click up here, we're going to get this black, black overlay. Um, and then close button. And then walk our way down. We don't need to do anything here. Apart from check that that is not automatically enabled. If you have that checked, it's just going to automatically pop up every time the page loads and it's annoying. So, once we've done that, we're going to say publish. And then what we're going to do, once that loads around, click to all pop-ups again. And then if we look, this is Matt's pop-up. What it does, it gives you a CSS class. So here, I'm going to copy that. I'm going to go back to that page. I'm going to click on edit page. And then, as you'll see in the main kind of WYSIWYG for the page, click on text. And then what we've got is this button. So we've got class pop-up, pop button, which is something I've set up. And then we just kind of pop it on there. So I've got a button class. You can add it to an A. It works fine on an A. Um, but I've already got that set up, so I'm just going to add it to that. So I've got button class equals pop make 1590. Okay, click update. And then what we're going to do, view page in another tab, and then click on that, and it'll show you my one. So this is a pop-up header, sign up text for one, underneath form. So you can put images point into the button, you can put this, this form is, we respect your privacy, all that kind of stuff. Um, and yeah, the, the, the kind of 50% bars you see, you could add your own custom on there. So it's dead simple to do, as you can see. Okay. Um, if you want to come back and edit text, so come back. This is Matt's pop-up edit. 
So yeah, I'll kill that image. So it's gone into the H3 anyway. So kill that image. Uh, this is silent text that I can add to. Here we can say your uh, we respect your privacy. Um, if you've got it set up, you could add a little icon with a padlock using Font Awesome or something like that. It's up to you. Um, so let's update that. Let's go back once that loads to the page. Give it a refresh. Click on the button. There you go. We respect your privacy. This is a pop up, and I've added some text. So it kind of all works together as you go. Um, that's it the plugin's called pop-up maker got a free one available um took me a while to configure but once i got it set up it works quite nicely so thanks for watching if you have any questions just pop it on the comments below or just give me a shout in one of the forms thanks for watching take care